This is the Iowa Weather Report for Wednesday, May 27th, 2015. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run at 1 p.m. this afternoon. We have a disturbance moving away from the state that's going to be taking a lot of the precipitation away from this area as well for at least 36 to 48 hours. So we'll have plenty of sunshine around here today. Highs will be mainly in the upper 70s to lower 80s across the state. Any precipitation will be across the Great Lakes, northeast, up and down the eastern seaboard, and across Oklahoma and Texas once again. They've been getting the rain, and right now they pretty much don't need any more rain down there. And look, here even on to Thursday, it's still raining down there across Oklahoma, back into the south, into the Carolinas could be creeping into our western counties late in the day, so an isolated storm is possible. High still in the upper 70s to low 80s, and then that next system moves in here on Friday, so showers and thunderstorms will be possible once again. Some decent rains, maybe about an inch are possible with highs, likely di dipping back into the 70s for the most part with more clouds around. That will clear out early on Saturday, so this weekend will be much nicer than the last couple of weekends. It will be also a lot cooler. Highs will be in the upper 60s to low 70s. It will be a lot drier. The dew points will be lower, so it will be a very pleasant weekend for you to go camping, go outside, do a picnic. Whatever you want to do outside, it will be perfect for that. Here on Sunday, still plenty of sunshine around. A couple of storms out in the Dakotas we may have to watch to see if they may creep in here late Sunday night, but we'll see. As we go into the new work week on Monday, you can still see a little bit of activity to our north. May clip our northwestern counties with a little bit of rain. Better chances of rain also across the south and east and across Oklahoma and Texas once again, especially Texas. And here even into um, Tuesday, you can see pretty much some rain. Pretty much afternoon showers and thunderstorms pop up and die down in the afternoon in the southeast. And a frontal system to our north that is going to slowly creep in our direction by next Wednesday, as you see here. You see a disturbance moving in to the northern plains. You can see a possible Pacific tropical entity off Baja, California. That might enhance more precipitation into the south late next week. But in the meantime, the gulf looks to be opened up again, so showers and thunderstorms will be possible by the middle to end of next week at this point. But we have plenty of time to watch it. Timing these things out even a week in advance is still a little bit too hard at this point. Going into the extended period on June the 7th, we have pretty much a, a fairly weak flow across the country. A bit of a ridge trying to pump up over the Canadian Western Canadian, Western Canadian Prairie Provinces. A disturbance over Hudson Bay and another over the north and west. Could bring a, maybe a little bit of activity around here. Some showers, maybe a thunderstorm or two with a little bit more scattered activity across the south. Of course, timing this out is still a bit too hard. At the end of the forecast on June the 11th, main jet stream is way to the north across Canada. Pretty much weak westerly flow across our neck of the woods. Disturbance is going to be just to our west. And a bit of a flow out of the south and southwest, but that'll just bring us some south-southwesterly winds, maybe temperatures in the lower 80s at this point, any rain across the southeast and to our north and west, but fairly dry around here, but this could be gone on the next run. It could be wet again, we'll see. Satellite image from last evening showed it was quite wet again over Oklahoma and Texas. Big clusters of showers and thunderstorms there. See some showers and thunderstorms across the eastern seaboard, some lower clouds across the upper Midwest, and some clouds across the Rocky Mountains as well. The watch warning map from last evening, we had a couple of severe thunderstorm watches across Oklahoma and Texas, a couple of warnings there as well. Some flood issues continue over eastern Oklahoma and western Arkansas, and quite a few of the rivers there in Oklahoma and Texas as well, fairly quiet elsewhere. And you can see by the QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days. This goes through pretty much the early part of next week. You can see Oklahoma and Texas are still going to get quite a bit of rain. Around here, maybe about an inch or more, given any thunderstorms, it could get even more than that.